Now that you've taken the first step and purchased a download, it's time to learn how to download and import to iTunes to create a playlist so you can burn a CD or transfer it to your iPod. First, log into your account with the email address you used when you placed your order. As the password, use an order number from your email confirmation, or if you'd already set up a password, use the password. Once logged in, you'll be brought to your order summary screen where you'll see a list of all your recent orders. Click on the downloads link to see a list of your available downloads. Here we're going to start with Simply Step Hit Mix for iTunes. The first thing you're going to see is a window that asks you whether you want to open or save the file. We want to save this file to a location on our computer. We recommend that you save this compressed or zipped archive file to a secure location where you won't accidentally delete it. Navigate from your Documents folder to your Music folder and save it there or in a Yes Archive folder that you create. Click Save and let the download begin. After about 5-10 minutes, depending on your internet connection speed, the download will be complete. Once done, you have the option of opening it or opening the folder that contains the download. Let's open the folder. There you'll see the file, Simply Step Hit Mix. Notice that it's in your Documents, My Music, and then the Yes Archive. Double click on the file, and you'll see on the left hand side an option to extract all files. Click on this, and the Extraction Wizard will engage. Click Next. Now, click on Browse to choose a location for the extracted playlist folder that will hold your Yes album audio files. Choose My Documents and My Music. Once you've selected My Music, click OK. Then click Next. And choose the option to show extracted files. Let's click Finish and see what shows up. Here we've got a folder that has the Yes archives with our zipped files, and here we have our Simply Step 2 file, which is our audio folder that we're going to move over to iTunes to create a playlist. Now, first thing we want to do is minimize all the windows in the background so that we basically just have our one folder that contains our music. Let's start up iTunes. Here in iTunes, we have three main sections. We have the library, which includes the music, we've got the store, and then we've got playlists. Make a mental note of playlists, because we're going to need that here in a few seconds. All right, let's go down and let's bring up our music folder again. For the next step, make sure you see both the music folder and the iTunes window on your monitor at the same time. Pause the video now if you're not ready. Now, click and hold your mouse button as you drag the folder over to the playlist area. Once on top of playlists, release. And there you go. The Simply Step Pit Mix playlist has been created. And now you're ready for the next step, and that's just to go ahead and create a CD. Click on Burn Disk, and a window will pop up. We'll leave the speed at maximum. The disk format needs to be an audio CD. The gap needs to be set at none so that you get non-stop playback. Once again, audio CD and gap none. Then go ahead and click on burn. Now you're going to be prompted to insert a disk into your CD-ROM drive. Insert the disk. It will then check the media. Check the playlist and then start burning the CD. Depending on the speed of your CD burner, the CD will be ready within 2 to 10 minutes. Once it's ready, you'll see the CD pop up as one of the devices, and there it is. Go ahead and click on the eject button, and then you're ready to go take it to class.